to a new format, which isn't, isn't like any format I have done on this channel before. This is a new thing that I will be doing on my channel. This is, let me pop this up for you, so you can probably see this in the ring light. So this section I'm doing is talking about shoujo manga, shoujo anime, it is shoujo sunday <laughs> so i talk about the shoujo anime and manga that i collect read and just look at really i'm starting off strong as well i would love to collect the whole collection of our in high school host club as well so this is very nostalgic for me because i got into this anime series and the manga in my teenage years so i must have been about 13 ish when i first got into it but it's very very nostalgic to me and haruhi to me is a very relatable character so this manga here is the more there's like an au within the anime that's like alice in wonderland but this is like the one that just like shows it off and then you've got You've got Mori and Mitsukuni or Honey Senpai, but you know him by Honey Senpai by now. Um, so it features a lot of really cool things that are. So the manga that I got really into as a high schooler included, like, there's a lot of bits that weren't included in the anime. And that's why I ended up reading the manga eventually, so I will eventually collect it all, but I'm just collecting like the books as they go along. It There is the full manga collection that is available online. I think it's Crunchyroll that I saw on it, or a different company, I cannot remember for the life in me who's selling it but like it's really expensive to get the whole manga selection and I just really want to get s some bits of the manga that I really enjoyed when I was young. I would recommend Auron for like very beginners of shoujo anime but it's also got like a harem <laughs> of the guys so there is a few bits that are outdated, but I would likely recommend the Aaron manga for beginners that want to get into shoujo anime. I mean, it's a classic, but like I probably would recommend it for beginners. So with the story of Aaron High School Host Club, it there is a scenario where the so like, let's say the main protagonist is a girl, but she's cut her hair really short. She gets dragged in by the host club for breaking a really expensive vase. And the plot is she's got to be at the host club disguised as a guy to re repay her duties as a host club member in order to like, pay back the vase <laughs> it's it can be really silly at sometimes even in the anime there's like some silly bits that's just it's just full of nostalgia and i really like it what would i rate the Aaron manga so i would rate the whole manga as a whole and the stuff that i've seen online likely a 7 out of 10 mainly for for nostalgia purposes but I find the art really pretty as well. It's like very, very pretty and appealing. So the next manga we're gonna have a look at is Komi, Komi Can't Communicate. I've seen the first series of this on Netflix and I loved it. And I do want a bit more of Komi in my life. With Komi Can't Communicate, it's a girl, she struggles with uh, social anxiety she like struggles to get her words out she uses her notepad to like write and jot things down in class with 
Comey can't communicate. It's a girl. She struggles with uh, social anxiety. She like struggles to get her words out. She uses her notepad to like write and jot things down in class. So like the manga itself, it's very very good. I highly recommend the manga series. Because the art is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. It's just about a girl who struggles to speak. And it's just got re a really pretty art style. Like the the person who draws this manga is like like very very detailed, very very like that's the main guy like they clearly like each other but like i feel like she doesn't really get his feelings over much if that makes sense i mean i think this is more through like the anime kind of style but like it's good it's good for beginners um i feel like a lot of neurodiversity is taught through this anime because I feel like a lot of neurodivergent people can relate with Komi <laughs> like myself I mean I'm neurodivergent I struggle to get words out sometimes and I was pretty much the quiet person at school so like Komi is relatable and there is some funny moments within the manga and the anime as well so like it gets its high tea off that. So I would probably rate this one a solid 8 out of 10 for reading and stuff. Highly recommend for beginners or for people wanting to get into shoujo anime as well. My next one is kind of like Ash, who are you cosplaying as? Well, I'm cosplaying Toru from Fruits Basket. <laughs> All about shoujo anime. And then the next thing that we're moving on to is the Fruits Basket reboot. <laughs> I remember the whole hype for this thing to come out. Um, so like if you like anime nostalgia like I, I do, I highly recommend the Fruits Basket reboot because there is a lot of things that the older anime was like, th there was like some stuff in the older anime that just didn't hit right whereas the reboot does it really well for like fruits basket fans i feel like the reboot is something that we needed and i feel like a lot of series might need like a little reboot here and there just to get the old a little bit of the oldness out if you get what i mean <laughs> a plot of fruits basket there is girl girl meets family so it's like family of like brothers? Yeah, brothers. All the brothers, all the brothers and sisters in this family turn into zodiac animals when they get touched or hugged or anything like that. And it's pretty much the Chinese zodiac. So like so like you've got the rat, you've got the bunny you've got the yeah the tiger you've got the ox you've got a snake and a few other chinese zodiac signs but i just find the concept really fun so yeah as you can see from my dvd cover we have i think it's a shigure shigure yeah he's the dog one so like he transforms into like a doggo, which is pretty fun, and uh, I think my favourite Fruits Basket character is Momiji. Momiji is the rabbit character. He's like very similar to Honey Senpai, but like more. I feel like he acts like a little bit more mature in some ways for his age, but he's just bunny. And he also he also wears the the girls' clothing, and I'm like, 
What is he? <laughs> He's just like, what? Randomly, where's the girl's clothing? Anyways. So I would ra rank the Fruits Basket reboot probably an 8 out of 10 for nostalgia reasons and you should all watch the Fruits Basket reboot. I highly recommend you watch the Fruits Basket reboot if you want to like properly get into the lore of Fruits Basket. Um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna do like a Fruits Basket cosplay group in the future but I'm Likely gonna end up being Momiji <laughs> because Momiji is one of my one of my absolute fa favorite characters from the uh, anime. So, like, a Momiji cosplay will be coming on the way on this channel at some point. But yeah, another thing I want to talk about is a series on Netflix called My Happy Marriage. So, like, the story is like. A girl going into like arranged an arranged marriage, so it's like very very cultural and like there is a lot of Japanese references to like arranged marriages that they did. Like I'm gonna say olden times, but I could be wrong. But it, but feel free to correct me in the comments if I've like made a mistake. But it follows her life, like, as a wife slash fiancé. Like, I think it's like a more fiancé, but like, the guy who she's going out with is like a prince. He's, he's like a prince knight kind of character. And it low-key reminds me of, um, Kisama Kiss. You know, the one with the wolf. And the girl. <laughs> you, you know what I mean when I mention that. Um, that is like an old-ish one that I might review for another day. Like rewatch it and review it for another day. But like I want to talk about My Happy Marriage. Like I highly recommend this for new beginners as well. So I'm currently on like I'm currently viewing My Happy Marriage on Netflix. So like it's really short. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. I don't I'm I'm not really a short series watcher or enjoyer, but sometimes I, I do enjoy it, sometimes I don't. But I got really into this series and I got addicted. I don't know if I will cosplay from this series because it's it's a very short series that I probably won't cosplay from but I've noticed that the cosplay companies <laughs> are getting in on the My Happy Marriage um cosplays but I'm like maybe one day but it depends on how addicted I, I get to it but I really enjoyed it would probably rank it a strong 9 out of 10 for the story and the plot line I do want more of it. I do want the second season because I feel like th there is a lot of potential for a second season of this. I'll also put some like reference images of the characters from My Happy Marriage, if that makes sense, within the video below. But like. You should check out My Happy Marriage because it, it gives a realistic expectation of what what arranged marriages are like and what it's and how like there is a lot of Japanese culture within this series. So it's the end of the video. Which is really sad because I really enjoyed talking an info dumping about my social series that I've enjoyed over the month of August. So I will be back again for filming another one in September. I might do it in my Aaron cosplay. We just don't know. Um, a lot of you guys recommended as well. Kimi no Dokite. 
so that's from to me to you so i've got to check that one out that's a highly recommended one for like nostalgia purposes um i also need to look at like different shoujo anime series that you guys might recommend to me um so what a shoujo series is is basically a girl is the main character of the series so like it can be shoujo romances so i'm currently trying to get into toradora <laughs> i'm like i'm like re like rewatching it from the very beginning but like i want to get into it more i'm trying to remember what else was recommended to me i might look look back at clanad and clanad after story for one of the for one of the um shoujo shoujo sundays but this is like i'll do a shoujo sunday so it's like every month every month on a sunday i will talk about shoujo content shoujo anime anime and manga content but if you have any shoujo anime suggestions to me like any recommendations like anything new Hit, hit me up because I am a big shoujo buff and I want other people to get into my special interests of shoujo anime um, I think I will get into Kimi no Doki and probably review it on here for, for um, shoujo Sunday in September and I also will look at Toradora as well but yeah that's me pretty much done but I've only got like two to review maybe more on the lines I might look back at Maid Summer as well as, as well because I really loved Maid Summer So I bid you adieu. Um this is brand new and I really enjoyed doing this. So like if you guys enjoyed Shoujo Sundays, uh let me know in the comments below. Um if you guys have any Shoujo recommendations of anime manga for me to watch or check out, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you for the next Shoujo Sunday, which will be in September. So, bye!